Hello there everyone out in YouTube world. Hey, I'm Alex. Um, I'm a big soccer roots fan and I'm just going to talk today about soccer. I just set up this crappy little looking studio in my apartment. You might be able to see. Oh wait. Hold on. I'm going to this way. There's a little bit of a crack on that side too. But that's the back of my apartment. Anyway. And this is all held up by lamps and shit. <laughs> um, yeah, alright, hold on, I'll turn that down. This is Jonathan Boulay, it's the actual song for the World Cup. People might not from the FIFA World Cup video game. Anyway, alright, let's talk about the game on Sunday morning. I mean, Monday morning. Um, yeah, like, okay, we played against Germany and that was, you know, not very fair. Of course, they say that they pull these things out completely randomly, you know, Australia versus Germany, um, South Africa versus Uruguay, blah, 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 everyone gets knocked out and only the good teams get to go through. Well, this year that doesn't seem to be the case, um, as we saw the other day, you know, um, Portugal and Ivory Coast went up against each other and neither of them scored, so it was nil all, so they both, you know, only get a point for that. And, well, yesterday, or even, yeah, yesterday, um, it was Spain against Switzerland, and Switzerland won. So there have been some upsets, and you'd think that if you hadn't watched the games, you'd think, you know, oh, bullshit, you know, this is FIFA doing something, but, you know, <laughs> I can't tell which side is which. Anyway, um, so yeah. By the way, I haven't done any of this kind of YouTube stuff before, so basically, cut me some slack. Um, <laughs> yes, this is, if you're asking, this is actually the real match ball. Or is it on? Jabulani, it's got some new lines and stuff all over. Fucking beautiful ball. Yes, and going on a segue from that, the, um, the German team was allowed to use this very ball in the Bundesliga about six months ago and they've been using it since so they know the physics of the ball, they know how, where to kick it, how to kick it, how far it will travel, how much spin it has, how much bounce it has and you know they might have used that to their advantage, I'm not sure, obviously they probably would, I would, you know, why not, um, but yeah, everyone's crying foul about that and I agree, I think that's bullshit. I don't think that they should have been allowed to use the ball, you know, six months ahead of time. And if they go through to the finals, then that just goes to show that, you know, that stuff's not, that shit ain't cool, basically. Like, you shouldn't be allowed to use some ball before everyone else. I don't care if they had to deal with that enough. So what? It's not, you know, it's just not fair. And FIFA's all like, oh, fair play. Well, that's a crock of shit, isn't it? Anyway, um... Let's just go to this man who helped out Germany quite a lot. Here he is, Mr. Effing Marco Rodriguez. All right, this was ridiculous. This guy, nobody liked. Okay, obviously the Germans liked, but who knows what what they did to him. Um, basically, just during the match, I went up on Facebook and looked him up, and look. Marco Ro wait, it says, I'm a good ref, hello, I'm just kidding, I'm Marco Rodriguez. Exactly. Fucking hell. And they've got him here, looking quite aptly, excuse me, like a vampire. <laughs> anyway, um, I need to turn this music off. Anyway, so yeah, no one really liked what he did. He gave Timmy Cahill a red card for something that was completely out of order. Um, Germany had tackled us before in much the same way, didn't get anything, at most got a yellow, and most of the yellow cards were for diving and just, you know, acting basically. And news has come to me that 
Just recently, the whole German team have been nominated for an Oscar in next year's award ceremony, so congratulations to them for that. Continuing on, so we're up against Ghana on Sunday morning. So, what do you think? Let me know, put some comments down, um, maybe even email me. Um, I'll put my email address up for this. Um, you know, do we have a chance against Ghana? I personally think we do. I think that Pim Verbeek um, knew that, you know, we were going to lose to Germany. That was probably already in the bag before we even went out onto the pitch. But um, at about half time, I think they probably thought, oh, hey, look, you know, Timmy Cahill's off. He's, he's been red carded. I don't want anyone else to get in trouble. I don't want any other shit to go down. And, you know, fair enough. Like, okay, people might hate his, his coaching. I, you know, there's a lot of hearsay going on that, you know, Kuehl, Bresciano and a couple of others have gone over his head and, you know, gone to the Australian Football Federation and gone, you know what, we don't like him, get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out now. Um, we're going to do our own thing for the game against Ghana. We're going to talk to ourselves and just go, yep, you know what, we'll, we'll do whatever we want. Um, I don't think that's true. SBS have said that's not true because that was in the the, um, the World Cup show last night and everyone's basically, you know, denied everything. Of course they would, but, you know, you're not going to go up against a coach no matter what you think. There have been many coaches in the past who've been, you know, controversial or haven't led a team to, you know, victory within the first three matches. You know, lots of other countries have had the same problem. They're not just going to go, oh, hey, you're shit, let's kick you out. They're just, you know, they're going to keep going. They're going to give him a chance. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, I know this year, you know, we don't have puss hitting, but, you know, he decided to coach Russia and they on in the cup, so might have been the same for us. Anyway, um, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I reckon we have quite a big chance against Ghana. I don't want to jinx it. So I'll fucking keep my fingers crossed and touch. That's not wood, but I'll pretend that it is. Um, anyway, so yeah, we'll have we'll have Q, we'll have Bresciano, we'll have Kennedy, and then we've got the rest of the team. I don't know who's you know going to go on to who. I don't know that much about the team. I'm, I apologise. I'm not jumping on the bandwagon. I'm just not the biggest soccer fan in the world. Okay, I just. I mean football, sorry about that, it is football, rugby is rugby, football is football and it's not soccer because if you live in America, if you call it soccer, then you're an idiot because Gridiron is basically saying the same thing that rugby is football and that's not what it is. And football was started in 700 BC by Chinese people, um, kicking the heads around of um, armies who they had, you know, killed and taken over, and basically they didn't have anything better to do, so while they were, you know, pillaging towns and everything, they would kick around the skulls of the, of the army men that they had killed, and made a game out of it, and now that's actually what we call modern soccer, or football, I should take football, I apologise again. Um, yeah, they, um, they did that, so yeah, it's actually a really nice game in Origin. Um, but yeah, and rugby was only invented like, I don't know, last century or the century before in, in rugby in the UK. So you can't call it football because that's not what it's called and it didn't originate in a, in a town or a city called football, did it? It originated somewhere called rugby. And rugby sucks um, because you've got your team players and yeah, all right, they might be all like, oh my God, he's amazing, he looks so fucking hot. But, in actual fact, he'll go around to your local leagues club, pick you up, and then rape you. So there you go. You don't want that to happen, and that doesn't happen with football players, does it? No. Anyway, continuing on my hatred of rugby. No, I'll stop there. Um, yeah, so I reckon they'll probably change the tactics with Ghana. We'll probably have a more offensive structure to our team. Um, the thing what they did with... Germany was that they put four right at the back, but 
this time I think they'll probably either put just two or one, and then 